in law school, they tell you that if you're the most successful person in the room, you find a new room to be in. What I'm here to tell you, if you're the biggest person in the room, make that room your gym. This is your guide to the rec center, so that you can start doing what you don't even. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about what to wear. You are the new kid. You don't want everyone staring, thinking, what is this kid with a Lego body going to do, lifting all that heavy weight? You don't want to draw attention to the fact that you're not the biggest or the most shredded person in the gym. Instead, let everyone know you're the smartest person in the gym. Show off your Minnesota Law gear. Be so proud that you cut off the sleeves to that free Minnesota Law shirt you got because your idol that you look up to a little too much emotionally and definitely too much physically does so too. The basement. This is your sweet spot. This is where you're going to bench. You might even think about squatting. God forbid you think about deadlifting. Now, if you're going to bench, you might be thinking to yourself, Oh, but Uncle Austin, what if I get hurt? Do I need a spotter? What are you even worried about? You're at the gym. You don't need a spotter. You need people to watch you. Contrary to popular belief, pre-workout isn't the best way to get pumped for a lift. Fear that this may actually kill you. You don't need a spotter. You need a life insurance policy. Here's your legal advice. Now, if you hate working out alone, I want to knock it off at the Steven Glansberg workouts. Bring a buddy from the law school. Make sure they know you're here to study anatomy, not the law. Call me Thurgood Marshall. Ruth Peter Gainsburg. Now if the basement's the meat market, where all the gym rats and other weird centaur looking beasts work out, then the main floor is gonna be the display window. Right and welcoming. The main floor is where you're gonna have the most witnesses to show off your newly added muscles since starting law school. Your, your body muscle, not your brain muscle. This isn't a Wahoo Beach knowledge fever. Up here, you're gonna find all the same equipment you find downstairs. Barbells, dumbbells, squat rack. But the benefit of being up here is you've got light coming through the window to give a sick shine off your new pump. And you've also got a ton of witnesses to watch you use the most versatile piece of equipment in the gym, the cable cross. Casually flex your triceps by doing tricep pushdowns and let everyone know how big you are. Drop the pin. Drop the pin. And take the Uber to Gainesville. Your triceps are going to pop like corn. The band, which rocks. Now, I've seen a lot of stupid things in the Church of Iron, but the worst thing you could possibly do is use a squat rack for anything else other than squats which is going to be tough for you because the last time you did squats was the first time you did squats, which is also probably the last time you did squats. Leave the squat rack for squat. Put the dumbbells at. You know what? Let's do some squats. Racing your opponent before they even know what's happening. We can edit that to make it look like I won, right? Oh god, I'm going into cardiac arrest. Give me something to curl. Lastly, if you're a true gym bro, you'll head to the basketball court. School up some younger kids. Let them know how you roll. No matter what your interest is, make sure you come to the rec center. Find something to give yourself a break outside of law school, so that when you're done with school, you can graduate a golden grover. Be sure to check out our Facebook, blog site, Instagram, and weekly videos. All right.